Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so this here should be the semi-final video uh, with regards to body work. Uh, last week I showed you guys a video of the interior, the exterior, the engine bay, the bootler of the vehicle, right? And we didn't get to the undercarriage of the car. We basically got it prepped up nicely and remember we're still going to get a decent coat of rubberizer on here. And then we're going to prep up for the boot. So prep up for the boot, we're just going to give it a light flat down, go through the imperfections on the primer work. So you've got a couple of details that we need to just tap here and there. And then obviously give it its rubberizer at the bottom. Uh, with regards to colors on the undercarriages, and this is always controversial, right? But as far as we know, and we bear this conversation up and down, we're gonna go, so this guy's a white, it's a, it's, it's a ice white car. And we're gonna go white on the exterior, obviously, and then the white will follow basically up until here. And then here you should go with a cream cappuccino color under the tunnel, which should end about here, and here in the end of the day. So, that's the color scheme that we're going for at the bottom, but we're going to try and get it as nice and white as possible so we can have, once we get the petrol tank in, we've got the petrol tank here that'll be black, you've got your gold on the one side, you've got your suspension in on this side here, and you'll have your white, your, between your white, your gold, your black, your breakouts, your breakout colors in between that, so it should contrast quite nicely once the guy's in the air and once the guy's painted. So this here is the raw metal to it. It is very hard getting into the crevices nicely, there's a lot of dust on here still. This is what I was saying that we still need to prep up properly. Not, it's not dust, sorry, this is like overspray and so on like that. And we'll just get her cleaned off nicely, but then she is going to get a coat of rust, not rust, <laughs> rubberizer, through the undercarriage. And we're going to decide if we're going to go with the rubberizer or what the color in it that is available. Uh, obviously, get the textures correct. Or we're going to go with the rust. I don't want I want the rubberizer, but I don't want to go with the color over the rubberizer because over time it is a little chunk. So we'll just, before we put color on and before we do that, we'll decide on that and we'll do a video on it as well to find out what product we're actually going to use on it. Uh, basically, we've gone through all the dents, all the nicks and cracks from the undercarriage. If there was any welding spots, we have to that out. There is a couple of marks here and there that can still get ironed up further. But a lot of the undercarriage is done and Look, this car also had extensive work done to it. This here was a car that was totally skewed, and it's a car that we put together on the floor. A lot of people still give me flack on it because I use the whole suspension, and I'm still gonna carry on about it. I'm not gonna let that go, because they call this here a wannabe IS, basically. But it's not an IS. If we went through this much of work, it's not a, a wannabe IS. Anyway, guys, this is on the metal. So you can see, we tried to get your dents out as far as possible. We tried to get the bead holes out and visible. So we can all see that the only place that we didn't we didn't really want to disturb and tackle too much right is your chassis your frozen chassis area the only way for us to get these dents out properly is i put the road through them pull them out and then we still got to fold it uh, the other way the second way is to basically pull the whole chassis leg off and then go through it that way um, what we're going to do on this guy is we've cleaned up everywhere else around it we're going to leave it in place like this here because if the customer has ever decided to jack up. You're not going to jack up here. Most likely, everybody makes a mistake of jacking up here, but you jack up here, and if I do put a little bit of filler here, it's just going to crack up. But I think it's also characteristic to the age of the car. We're not trying to bring a car and make it brand new. It is a restored vehicle. Right? We're not trying to... Uh, uh, we, don't, we don't want it, we don't people to think that this is a brand new shell and blah, 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 blah. Just, it is a restored vehicle. Here's the characteristics. Let's go through it quickly, and you'll see that it is a couple of nicks and cracks here and there on the corners that we're still going to get through. But I think this is a very, this is extensive. Yes, this is extensive. A lot of the guys don't go through this process, and even with us, we spent three weeks, or two weeks, I think, sorry, on the undercarriage. And there's still a couple of nicks and things here still to go through, but I think we've, we've quite far into it. And we'll just get it done and get it prepped. Let's go through it quickly. Okay, so again, you can see here, this is your arches here basically. This is how far we've gone into the arches and, and this car, we haven't pulled every single panel off it, right? But we've pulled a lot of panels off and we try to clean up as much as possible. So still in this area here, I would like the guys just to clean up this extras over here. 
clean these guys out just a little bit uh, the tunnel looks decent that's clean the floorboards look good there's an area there that needs to be cleaned out this it looks nice uh, the, uh, this is under your towers this is hair prints in there but we've got to flat it down properly get it cleaned off get it acid on off properly before she even thinks of getting into the paint room so yeah guys let me know what you guys think um this is a ball that you guys have been following for for the past year or so let me know what you guys think uh the progress thus far we're very close to paint but we're also not just gonna rush and get the car painted we want to get it as perfect as possible as perfect as we can as possible as possible as we <laughs> sorry but as we possibly can so we still gotta prep up quite a bit see through the sandwich we still gotta go through these areas uh, and clean these guys up nicely here also but i think we can finally say we're done with metal work and we close to paint that's all the sandblast still coming out and we've got to turn the car around upside down a few times blow it out vacuum out clean up here do that do that uh, it does get it gets tedious eh? but it's all worth it anyway guys like i said let me know what you guys think let me, uh, let me know what you guys think let me know what your views are interact with us let us know and yeah again like subscribe share you guys know what to do and let's get her ready for the boot cheers guys